The change of context um, and environment in terms of what happens in my studio and then what happens when they're on display, I think is just that you get to take each piece at a time, but that also just kind of depends on how they're hanging. I mean, it's one of my dreams that someday is just to get a big wall and to be able to hang all of these gallery style as opposed to just one, you know, on a singular line at like a singular perspective, uh, line of perspective. So, you know, like each of those things could mean different things, you know, that you're engaging with one piece in one moment, exactly where you're standing, or if you're seeing all these different people or personas all at once at, in front of you, which I guess is a little bit of what you get in here, but I mean, there's so, <laughs> so much going on and there's different projects I'm always working on or commissions or that sort of thing. So it is nice to have um, exhibits where that is the sole focus um, and there are fewer distractions. The exhibition I'm curating now um, is something that I have thought about whew, at least, I mean, it's been a few years. I mean, the, one of the pieces in this show I've had um, for two years now, um, just waiting for the day when this would happen. So I have gotten, uh, I think it's 16 other artists who are all doing their own interpretation of one of my paintings. And I did my very best to find people of different backgrounds, um, as well as di all different medias and uh, approaches to their art making process. So I'm hoping that, you know, once we get this all <laughs> up on the walls and everybody's done, um, that it, you know, it's going to be there the way that they see the person in that portrait, but as well as bringing their own personal take um, on things. So I know of at least two for sure that are people did their own self-portrait juxtaposed within my self-portrait. So I did give them both my source photo and the painting itself. So the more abstract people did a great job of responding to the colors um, that are in the painting and not in the source photo. Um, so I also, because this was one of my earlier paintings, um, I did a response to it as well, just to show kind of myself how much I've grown and what I could do differently. So that piece is what's behind me now. Um, so I had been wanting to work large and I was hoping that that would be you know, the piece that would center the whole exhibition um, and then have everybody's individual takes um, around the gallery. The role of the museum or gallery in facilitating the experience, I think, um, you know, can be pretty straightforward. It is nice to see, you know, some variations that are happening on, you know, just the white cube or, um, that it is just kind of a linear display of things. Um, I really like, you know, being able to see, uh, I don't know if it's wallpaper or vinyl or, you know, that there's color being, you know, splashed about in different gallery settings. I think that's really interesting to frame um, the artwork. So, yeah, just setting up an experience um, that it's not just about the individual artwork, but just, I like, I do like seeing that it's more of just like the atmosphere of the place as a whole. Um, and I, I do really enjoy the conversations that are happening um, about my show downstairs about, you know, what do we do for people who, um, I don't know how to phrase this. Like we're, we're talking about suspending things in the center and it not just being about, you know, two dimensional things on the wall and just how people respond to like the text that, you know, we're all used to seeing um, when we go into the gallery. So I, I like the way that it's kind of expanding into more of a, both an immersive experience and um, that's more diverse for how people actually experience artwork.